This is lesson 11, subtract fractions, making like units numerically. One way to solve one-third, take away one-fifth, is to draw two rectangular fraction models, divide one into thirds, and shade one-third of it, divide the other into fifths horizontally, and shade one-third of it. Next, I would divide both models the way the other was divided so that I get like units. My like unit is 15. My fr fraction model shows that one-third is exactly the same as five-fifteenths. One-fifth is equivalent to three-fifteenths. So my new subtraction problem would be five-fifteenths minus three-fifteenths the answer, two-fifteenths. We learned with our addition that one way to get a common unit is to take one of our fractions and multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction. So one-third times five-fifths equals five-fifteenths. Notice that matches what we did with our rectangular fraction model. One-fifth times three-thirds, the denominator of our other fraction, equals three-fifteenths. And notice again, that matches what we got in our rectangular model. When we do this numerically, we get the exact same results, five-fifteenths now, take away three-fifteenths, as we got with our rectangular fraction model. So we're going to move away from the models and into finding our answers numerically. In this problem we have three-fifths minus one-sixth. To get a common unit, we take three-fifths. If we multiply it by six-sixths, that's the denominator of our other number. We take one-sixth, we multiply it by five-fifths, the denominator of our first fraction. Three times six is eighteen. Our unit is thirty. 1 times 5 is 5. 6 times 5 again is 30. 18 minus 5 is 13. 30 3 fifths minus 1 sixth is 13 30 In this problem, we're going to show three different ways to solve 1 and 3 fourths, take away 3 fifths. Method 1, think of our 1, the whole number for 1 and 3 fourths, as five-fifths and three-fourths. The reason we're renaming it as five-fifths is so we can take away three-fifths. Five-fifths take away three-fifths is two-fifths. Now we're going to add two-fifths to three-fourths because we've already subtracted our three-fifths. We add two-fifths then to three-fourths, getting a common unit of 20 two-fifths times four over four gives us eight-twentieths. Three-fourths times five over five, five-fifths, gives us fifteen-twentieths. Eight plus fifteen is twenty-three, twenty-three-twentieths. That would be twenty-twentieths, which is one, plus three more twentieths, one and three-twentieths. Our second method is to separate our one and three-fourths, rename three-fourths, as 15 twentieths, getting that common unit so we can subtract 3 fifths. So we took our 3 fourths, multiplied times 5 over 5, took our 3 fifths, multiplied times 4 over 4, we get that common unit of twentieths. So now we have our 1 plus 15 twentieths, take away 12 twentieths. 15 twentieths minus 12 twentieths is 3 twentieths, same answer. The third method is to rename one and three-fourths, this mixed number, as an improper fraction of seven-fourths. One is four-fourths, plus three more fourths is seven-fourths. So we have seven-fourths take away three-fifths. We get a common unit by taking seven-fourths, multiplying it by five-fifths. That gives us thirty-five-twentieths. We take our three-fifths. Multiply it by 4 fourths, that gives us 12 twentieths. 35 minus 12 is 23. We have 23 twentieths. 
That's the same as 20 twentieths plus 3 more, or 1 and 3 twentieths. Here we're going to show three ways of computing 3 and 3 fifths minus 2 and 1 half. In the first method, we're going to think of 3 and 3 fifths as 3 plus 3 fifths. Take our whole number 3, subtract 2 and 1 half. 3, take away 2 and 1 half, is 1 half. We've done our subtraction. What we have left after subtracting is 1 half, so we're going to add that to our 3 fifths that was a part of our original number, the number we're subtracting from. 1 half minus 3 fifths, we get a common unit of 10. 1 half times 5 fifths is 5 tenths. 3 fifths times 2 halves, 2 over 2, is 6 tenths. 5 tenths plus 6 tenths is 11 tenths. That's the same as 1 and 1 tenth. So this is starting with your whole number, subtracting all of our number we're taking away, subtracting all of our 2 and a half, leaving us with 1 half, adding that back to the fractional part of our mixed number. In method 2, we're subtracting the whole number. 3, take away 2 is 1. Then we have 3 fifths, take away 1 half. Getting a common unit, 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths. 1 half multiplied by 5 fifths is the same as 5 tenths. 6 tenths, take away 5 tenths, is 1 tenth. 1 and 1 tenth, again, is our answer. In this last method, we're changing our mixed numbers both to improper fractions. 3 and 3 fifths, we did 3 times 5 is 15 fifths, plus 3 more fifths is 18 fifths. 2 and 1 half, 2 times 2 is 4 halves, plus 1 more half is 5 halves. 18 fifths minus 5 halves, our common unit is 10. Multiply 18 fifths times 2 over 2 to get 36 tenths. Multiply 5 halves times 5 over 5 to get 25 tenths. 36 take away 25 is 11. 11 tenths is 1 and 1 tenth. That's 10 tenths. 1 plus 1 more tenth. In this problem, we're doing 5 and 3 fourths take away 3 and 1 sixth. First, we're going to estimate our answer by looking at it in a number line. Here we have 5 and 3 fourths. When we take away 3, we'd be at 2 and 3 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths take away 1 sixth. Tells us our answer is going to lie between the whole numbers 2 and 3. So our answer should be a mixed number 2 and something. I'm going to solve this problem by first doing my 5 and 3 fourths take away 3, just as I did in the number line. 5 and 3 fourths take away 3 is 2 and 3 fourths. So I have 2 and 3 fourths take away 1 sixth. That would be our 2, separating our 2 and 3 fourths. 2 plus 3 fourths minus 1 sixth. 3 fourths getting a common unit with 6. I'm going to use a common unit of 12 because I know 12 is a multiple of both 4 and 6. I could use 20 fourths. I could multiply by 6, 6, and 4 fourths. I'm going to go with the smaller common unit of 12. So 3 fourths times 3 thirds is 9 twelfths. 1 sixth times 2 halves is 2 twelfths. I now have 2 plus 9 twelfths take away 2 twelfths is 7 twelfths. My answer is 2 and 7 twelfths.